Today, I'm going to go over all of the reasons why you should get Outriders, and we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Reckless here. Welcome back to another video. So today, we are going to go over all, or if not most, of the reasons why I think that you guys should get Outriders. And if you guys want to see more Outriders content in the form of in-depth looks at class builds, gameplay, legendary farming, news, updates, and more, be sure to subscribe down below and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any videos. But before we get into the video, I just want to let everybody know that we have a giveaway for three full digital versions of Outriders and the details to the giveaway will be towards the end of this video. This video is going to be pretty much catered to all of those individuals who are kind of on the fence about getting the game or those who just want to play the game but don't want to actually pre-order it. So the clock is still ticking. There is only four days left until the release of the full game of Outriders and I am here to at least try to convince you guys to buy the game. For starters, no one paid me to make this video, not the developers or the publishers. I am doing this video on my own accord because I believe that this game has a lot of promise. I will put timestamps in the description so you guys can go to a topic that you are interested in or you can watch the entire video. The choice is all yours. So let's get started. Outriders is a third person which is over the shoulder shooter looter. That's a tongue twister. It is rated M for mature or Peggy 18 due to the strong language, violence, blood, and gore. These happen to be the reasons that it got my attention. This game is not made for children or children that think they are grown. Parents, please be responsible. People Can Fly are the developers of Outriders as well as the developers of Gears of War back in 2007 as well as Gears of War Judgment in 2013. They have had some games in between, but the Gears of War franchise is what a lot of people know them for. And then now Outriders. Square Enix are the publishers and well, they are Square Enix, who are well known for publishing games for the Final Fantasy franchise, the Tomb Raider franchise, Kingdom Hearts, and much more. But what is the most important thing is that People Can Fly now have Outriders, and Outriders will be releasing on six platforms. PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and Stadia. Furthermore, you have four options to play on PC. Outriders will be available on Steam, the Epic Games Store, and will also be coming to two subscription-based services such as the Nvidia Now and Xbox Game Pass. But why am I even telling you any of this? Well, it's simple. Options. You aren't forced to have a specific console or play on a specific place on PC like other games. This game is not exclusive to Sony or Microsoft. You have total freedom of how and where you would like to play this game. This is almost unheard of in the last few months after current gen consoles have been released. If you are skeptical about getting Outriders, then I would suggest you go ahead and play the free Outriders demo. You can do so on any of the platforms that I mentioned earlier. The Outriders demo offers the prologue of the game as well as a few side quests and has been monitored and updated frequently. I mean, who does that? What dev actually updates their demo? Normally the devs say, oh, it's just a demo. It'll be different in the full version. Not people can fly. They have updated the demo several times and have made tons of updates to the full version of the game even before it's released. And all of this is based on our feedback that we've been given them, not to mention how responsive People Can Fly and Square Enix are to the community. Like there are some other games out there where the devs and the publishers don't even talk to you and you have no idea what's going on with the game. Not in Outriders, which separates them from all of the other games. In the demo, you can go as high as level seven, get up to four classes, each unlocking four different skills, play with friends or crossplay. Yes, crossplay is allowed in the demo with anyone on any of the other platforms via matchmaking. And for those who don't know, the progress from the Outriders demo does transfer over to the full game when it is released on April 1st, 2021, which is another thing that we haven't seen in gaming a lot recently, maybe even a few years. 
If you guys wanna know what you are in for when it comes to day one of Outriders, I have made a video explaining everything that you need to know. And I will put it in a card in the top right of the screen right now and at the end of this video. So I had mentioned the classes, but I didn't tell you what they were. Let's go ahead and do that now. The first class and the one that will catch a lot of people's attention is called the Pyromancer. And I'm sure you could tell by the name what its power is all about. The Pyromancer is a mid-range class that can conjure fire. The Trickster is a close range attacker that controls space time. The Devastator is also a close range class that will be your tank and can definitely take a hit. And the Technomancer is your long range support class that uses gadgets to do a lot of damage. However, I will say this, you can still get close with the Technomancer, at least at mid range and do a lot of damage. Each class is unique with their own abilities. Some classes are squishier than others, but they make up for it in other places. And each class has their own different way in order to regenerate their health. Now, I have done in-depth videos for each class and I will put a link to all of them in the description box below. However, a little more information on the classes have been brought to light since those videos were made, but the info is still correct and I figured I'd just let you guys know that ahead of time. As for the gameplay, well, you've been watching it. None of the class abilities feel weak or too overpowered. Everything feels like it is nicely balanced. This includes the damage we take as well. The gameplay for the demo is nice and smooth. Currently, the cutscenes do work as intended and this is only due to the patches that I had mentioned earlier. You can play Outriders either solo or up to three players. And even though that there are four different classes, it has been said, given everything that is going on in a battle, i.e. all the shooting, all the abilities going off, all of the explosions, etc., it was a little too much for the game to handle with four members in the squad at once and this is processing wise, not difficulty, which is why the devs made Outriders a maximum of three players. Now this info was actually brought to us by one of their Q&A sessions after a live stream. If you want, you guys can go ahead and try to find that video on the official Outriders YouTube channel. More importantly, Outriders is a full game experience which means you are getting the entire game. I'll say that again, the entire game. This consists of a 40 hour campaign, 15 world tiers, and those are the difficulties, 14 end game expeditions, and one final expedition. A level 30 character cap, and a level 50 weapon cap, 46 legendary weapons, 95 legendary pieces of armor, three armor sets per class, you are getting hundreds of mods and epic build diversity. This means you have an almost limitless way to customize your character between the way that they look without armor, the weapons and armor they are wearing, the customization options for your mods and your weapons, armor, and we get a big ass truck. There are no microtransactions in this game at all. So you don't have to worry about spending actual money except to buy the game, of course. Not to mention, you get a free content pack for pre-ordering the game. This is called the Hell's Rangers pack. If you would like more information about the Hell's Rangers pack, I will put a card in the top right of the screen now and at the end of this video. All of what I just mentioned is inside this game. How many games over the last several years were released as a full game? Most games now have the 10 mission business model where they give you guys a mini story lasting only 10 missions and then throw a shit ton of microtransactions at you while giving you recycled content. Destiny, I'm looking at you. Or other games that have the episodic model where you get an episode containing five long missions, new characters to play, new weapon types, a new area to explore, and more microtransactions. World War Z, I'm looking at you. While microtransactions are optional, so you don't have to actually buy them, I still feel like they should be a part of the game and not sold for an actual currency. Once again, Outriders is a full game experience and you don't have to deal with microtransactions or any other of that bullshit. In conclusion, my experience and the experience of my friends with Outriders and the demo has been a very good one. No, we are not trying to fanboy the game or anything. We actually like Outriders. One of my friends even canceled his physical order of the game 
just so he could play it digitally at midnight since stores like GameStop, Target, or Walmart in my area aren't doing any early releases anymore due to the coronavirus. I plan on getting the game and I will continue to do content on it as well. If you are one of those people who are actually waiting on someone else's reviews, don't. Play the demo now and get your own opinion of the game before it's released. I promise you won't be disappointed. I don't know. I never understood reviews since everyone's opinions and what one person does or does not like may not be the same as someone else. So how about it? Will you at least give the Outriders demo a try to see if you would like the game or not? And if you have already played the demo, what are your thoughts on it? And will you be getting the game? Let us know in the comment section below. So, you made it this far in the video and you want to know the details about the Outriders giveaway. Well, it's very simple. All you have to do is follow me on Twitter and put your platform of choice in the hashtag giveaway section of the Everything Outriders Discord. That is all. You do not even have to subscribe to my channel in order to participate in this giveaway. But if you did subscribe, the support is greatly appreciated. The giveaway will go until Wednesday, March 31st, 2021 at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. A link to my Twitter and the Discord are in the description box below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.